They tell CBS 13 they are suing San Joaquin County after their loved one was hit and injured by an on-duty San Joaquin Sheriff's Deputy vehicle. The California Highway Patrol is investigating the accident, which happened November 7th in Lathrop. The victim, David Estrada, suffered major injuries and is still in the hospital. New at 5, CBS 13's Angela Musalem spoke to the family, who says both the CHP and Sheriff's Department has kept them in the dark about what happened. This is the intersection where David Estrada was hit last month by an on-duty sheriff's deputy. Estrada's family says deputies are not giving them the full story, and now they're taking legal action against the county. We really have been kept in the dark. Hurt and frustrated, David Estrada's girlfriend and brother are desperately looking for answers about what happened to David on the early morning of November 7th. This is David after he was hit. Shearing of the brain. Um, he had broken nose, broken orbital bone. He cannot walk or talk or eat on his own. Ashley Hardiker tells CBS 13 her boyfriend was crossing this intersection in Lathrop when he was hit by a San Joaquin County Sheriff's vehicle. Hardiker says deputies only told her David was involved in an accident. The neurosurgeon told us um, no, he was actually hit by um, a police officer. So that's how we found out. The California Highway Patrol is now investigating the incident. They issued a written statement Wednesday stating David was, quote, wearing dark colored clothing. CHP also says he was crossing at an intersection with no marked crosswalk, and the statement goes on to say alcohol was determined to be a factor with the pedestrian. Hardiker says the CHP initially told her she could view dash cam video of the accident and report, but then denied her request. When they said it was ready, I went there and tried to get the report, and they would not give it to me. We reached out to CHP and the San Joaquin County Sheriff's Department Wednesday. They said they wouldn't comment, citing pending litigation because the Estrada family is suing the county for David's injuries. David is now spending his fourth week in the intensive care unit at a rehabilitation facility as his family continues to search for answers. Now the video will be David's voice, and that is what is most important to us right now. And we filed a public records request today with the Sheriff's Department to view that dash cam video. We're still waiting to receive it. Meanwhile, Estrada's family says they're going to continue with the lawsuit to get David justice.